Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning out the week of November 12th through the 18th using the Scribble Prince Co. Fantastic Beast Kit. And this week is like quadruply exciting um, <laughs> because first and foremost, it is a collab with my girl, Alyssa from Alyssa Plans here on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, this is our first time collabing when it's been a YouTube video. We've done collabs just on Instagram before I had my channel in the past. And so we are both using this kit this week and decided to do a collab. We have a Q&A planned out and make sure you go subscribe to her channel, which I'll have her video and channel and everything linked down below in her Instagram. So make sure to check it out. This is the week when Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald premieres. Um... Yeah, so I'm super excited, and not only does that premiere, but it's also the end of the season for NASCAR, meaning my driver has a one in four chance of winning the championship. So let me show you what other stickers I'm going to be pulling in this week. I might not use these all, but I did get out all the possibilities. So I have Rose Color Days um, gold foil headers. We have Scribble Prince Co. corner foil stickers, Scribble Prince Co. foil date icons, the rose color days, and J. J. Crew plans foiled sheet in gold, the Simply Watercolor Co. and Vibless to Plan sheet collab sheet, the rose color days and J. Crew plans like the icons um, and overlays sheet, and then just some other rose color days headers I had left over on this sheet. And then I'm going to be pulling in these Milo and Milk stickers for school. And then my Inspired Ever After font stickers. So we're going to go ahead and get into this week. That was like my longest intro ever because there's just so much stuff this week. And again, if you guys hear noises, there's construction going on. I know I say this every week, but if you're new, you haven't heard it. Um, there's construction going on and it's loud and my dog and cat are playing. So... My dog's eating right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So, <sighs> deep breath. I want this week to come out like perfectly. So let's get into it. Where are the little boxes? So the first question is for anyone who doesn't know, what is your Hogwarts house? I am a Slytherin through and through which you guys might have gotten a little sneak peek. I don't know if you guys can see she's wearing the Slytherin scarf. Um, yeah, Slytherin, 100%. Favorite magical creature? Um, see, everyone's all about like the Nifflers and the bow truckles right now. I am still super set on dragons. So we are going to say dragons because dragons are awesome header is crooked. <clears throat> um, are you more Tina or Queenie? Ooh, that's a hard one. Am I already doing this how I don't want to do this? Did I already screw this up? Hang on before I answer that question. You guys, why do I have such problems with this? I did. Okay, am I more Tina or Queenie? I would say I'm probably more Tina. Um, Queenie just seems too sweet to me and maybe that's the Slytherin in me coming out but she just seems too sweet for sure. The fourth question is Nomad or Muggle? Um, I mean 100% Muggle. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I do think Nomad is a creative way to bring different verbiage for muggle, like in a different part of the world because of how like languages develop and stuff. But growing up with Harry Potter, they are just always going to be muggle muggles to me. So muggle. Um, 
Ooh, Eddie Redmond or Ezra Miller. That's that's a good one. I Ooh. Uh, um, mm, this one has me a lot more than I thought it would. Um, I have to say probably Eddie just because Okay, I would like to Okay, Eddie seems like we get along more in like the long term of like being friends or whatnot, but Ezra just seems like he'd be fun to hang out with for a day. Cause like he's so like the stuff he posts and like his outfits and stuff. So I would say Eddie overall. Oh, the next question is Niffler or Bowtruckle? I think Nifflers are cuter aesthetically to look at, but overall I'd say Bow Truckle because I like the little like buddy that hung out in my pocket and could go with me everywhere. And while Nifflers are so cute, I just feel like I'd be so worried that it would like steal something and I'd get in trouble for it. And I, I wouldn't want to be like chasing it around all the time and having to hide anything like shiny and valuable because it's stealing it. I just feel like that would just give me so much anxiety. So I'm going to say a bow truckle, which I'm sure is not that popular of an answer, but would you have picked care of magical creatures as your elective? If I, if there is space available a hundred percent, because I love animals. Um, hang on. My cat's playing with a plastic bag. Sorry about that. Yeah. So if I had space in my schedule, I would, without hesitation, I would, cause I think that there's so many amazing magical creatures and it just seems like such a fun class, especially before Draco Malfoy messed it up. <laughs> but I would, I, I want to say I would, especially cause like Hagrid is awesome. What would you, th what do you think of the American wizarding world? I think I want a better look at it and I would love if at some point they did go to Ilvermorny and show the school. Cause I just think that that's something that they need to do. I don't know if they will. Um, I don't see why they would at this point. But I hope that they return, because from what I've seen in the trailers, like they're not going to be in America anymore. And I hope that they show a lot more of it. Because I just think it's really interesting. Or that they go to other countries that also have like some of the wizarding schools. I think it'd be super fun to see like the differences there. But overall, I thought it was about what I kind of, ex I mean, I didn't imagine all the things that JK Rowling did, I'm not saying that, but it was really good. I I really enjoyed seeing what it was like in America and it was a different time period too than it would be today. Um, what are you most excited about for the crimes of Grindelwald? Uh, everything. <laughs> um, I'm excited. I can't even pick one thing. I know that she's, and I'm not gonna say it here because I know some people don't want spoilers. I know that it's been announced how the series, because they are making five Fantastic Beasts movies and they're coming out two years apart and I like just die of excitement. But I know that not everyone wants a spoiler, but because of how the whole series is gonna end, I'm just super excited. But there's nothing like, okay. I mean, I guess this might be a little bit of a spoiler because the Credence, who we thought was killed in the first one, the actor who plays him is, is shown in the previews for this movie. So I guess I'm curious as to what happened to him and how he's kind of back. But yeah, that was a long rambling answer. Second to last question, what is your ill or Ilvermorny house and I'm a Pukwudgy. I'm not sure that's how it's pronounced to be totally honest. I've taken each test 
twice just because I'm a very indecisive person. I'm like, what if I chose the wrong answer? And both times it came back Pukwudgie. So I guess I am a true Pukwudgie. So I don't even know what that really means. I know that there is, it's different. So like not every Slytherin is going to get in Pukwudgie because they divide their houses up at Ilver, Ilver Morning by different qualities. So... And then the last question, listen, I came up with is Dementors or Obscural, which is the thing that Credence was in Fantastic Beast. And that's hard because I feel like, to me, Dementors are, well, J.K. Rowling has said that Dementors represent her depression, which, you know, I think we can all kind of relate to a little bit. And but to me, and she hasn't ever said this, but I just, this is just how I feel. I think that the obscure is kind of um, almost to me is like anxiety with how it acts. So I feel like they're both bad, but uh, that's, that's, did I skip one? Oh, I totally did. But at the same time, if you have Dementors around, it just means you get to eat chocolate. And I don't know enough about Obscurals to 100% definitively say. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Dementors for this. And yeah, I'm going to also type all these questions out in the description box below. So if you guys would like to answer any of them, they'll be available. box is just so crooked. Okay, that's better. Back to doing my headers, which for whatever reason, I'm like mega struggling with. I've hoarded this kit as I'm sure like a ton of people have since it came out from Scroll Prince Co. this past like, what was it, spring? Like February? Like this kit is so... Like, I've had this kit for, like, I swear, like, nine or ten months. And I knew I wanted to use it this week. Although, since then, tons of shops have come out with Fantastic Beast kits. And I have no shame bought them all. So, yeah. They're, you know. It happens. That box is crooked, too. Do I want to fix that one? No, I'm going to leave it because I feel like it looks better than how wrinkled this box is. Okay. I grabbed a little thing to her. Actually, the only other time I have used foil in my planner is when Lissa and I... I always call her Alyssa just because of her username. Alyssa and I did our Harry Potter spread, so I have one checklist, checklist box left over the summer. So this is special. I don't pull in foil that often. So when I do, it's a seriously special day. Just gonna put down my meal little things and then we're gonna go ahead and get into my slew of TV shows for the week because I watch too many TV shows, but you know. I'm not cut off on them all, I just still mark them all. I have a few TV shows that I just like to binge watch at the end of the season, and that's how I like to watch them. So when I go through this today, I'll try to like tell you which ones I'm currently watching and which ones I'm behind on and then let me know if you guys are watching any of them and what you think. And then I just saw that as I'm filming this, it's tomorrow, but for you guys, it's already out. Once you're watching this, Scribble Prince Co. came out with a Akio Snow Kit and I'm super excited for that. Okay. So TV show time, the first TV show I have is on Monday. Why do I always struggle with this? So 
It's on Monday and it is The Good Doctor. And I am caught up on The Good Doctor. Then Tuesday I have Ink Master, which I'm going to use other things besides just TV labels because I don't have enough TV labels. And this is us. Maybe this color. Then Wednesday, I have Criminal Minds. I can get the icon up. So Criminal Minds. Then we have, I'm gonna just mark all three Chicago's under one. I'm not caught up on This Is Us. I'm caught up on Ink Master. I'm caught up on Criminal Minds. I'm caught up on Chicago Med and Fire, but not PD. Okay, then we have Survivor, which I am caught up on. And then Riverdale, which by the time I'm done filming this, or by the time this is uploaded, rather, I will be caught up on it because I am going to watch it tonight. So then Wednesday, we have How to Get Away with Murder. Then we have Station 19, which I'm gonna switch Grey's Anatomy and Station 19. I know that they're on at different, like they're not gonna be in chronological order because I just wanna use the doctor sticker for Grey's Anatomy. So that's gonna be for Grey's Anatomy. This is gonna be for Station 19. Even though, again, these two are switched. And I am caught up with Grey's Anatomy and Station 19. I'm two episodes behind on how to get away with murder. And then we have The Big Bang Theory, which I'm caught up on. Then I'm caught up with both of my shows on Friday, which are Blind Spot and Hawaii Five-O. I love Blind Spot. Again, I think it's so underrated. And then I have nothing happening Saturday, so we are just gonna put in a package because I have to do it that way. And then Sunday I have Shark Tank and then The Walking Dead, which I'm caught up on both of those. I guess I'm not that, as far behind as I thought. So those are my little things. I lost my headers page. Do you guys plan, do you guys like excessively lose pages? Here it is. Cause I am like the worst at it. So I'm going to put two little things. I'm getting better at figuring out as I, cause I took a break where I didn't really use a ton of Scribble Prints Co. kits and I've been using a ton of them recently. And I feel like I'm finally figuring out again, I don't like having the same color on top of each other. So this one would be dark blue. I feel like it took me a second to get used to staggering them. That's the nice thing about using a glam planner kit is they're just all like done already. Like, cause they're all one color. So you don't have to worry about it. And then I am gonna need another little thing here, which would be tan, right? going crazy yeah I only have one tan little thing left so it's gonna have to be the package or the present I need 
Maybe I'll get myself a present Monday <laughs> and call it good. Okay, here are all my headers. I'm gonna go ahead and put my header overlays down from Rose Color Days. I'm curious, I was talking with someone about this. What is your favorite Harry Potter book out of all of them? And, and is it different from your favorite? Oh, Jesus. That went down horribly wrong. And is it different from your favorite Harry Potter movie? Let me know. Mine is the same. Both of my favorites are Prisoner of Azkaban, which I actually have paused in the other room right now. Um, today, when I'm filming, this is Thursday, which is usually when I film my plan with me. It's Thursday and I'm trying to watch each Harry Potter movie and then this day would land, be an empty day and I can watch the first Fantastic, no, this day is an empty day and I can watch the first Fantastic Beast movie before I go see it Thursday night. The new one, I'm excited. I bought my tickets like the second they went on sale, reserved my seat. I, and like the thing that's like extra exciting about the Fantastic Beast movies to me, as opposed to Harry Potter, is that not like Harry Potter wasn't exciting, and I'm obviously clearly very obsessed with Harry Potter, so don't even try that. But I'm just saying that with Harry Potter, I had read all the books first, so I knew what to expect, and I kind of got disappointed when certain things weren't like in the movie, if that makes sense. With Fantastic Beasts, like, n none of us really have any idea what the plot's going to be about. So there's no room for that, and it's awesome. So I am... I've had the days counted down. I have a countdown app on my phone. I've had the days counted down since the actual release date was released. Like, I... Do not mess around when it comes to Wizarding World related things. But are you guys planning on seeing it in theaters? Are you going opening day? Why am I having such problems with these? Maybe I need to turn my planner. I apologize if you see my head. I'm not peeling that up again. What are your guys' tricks? Because I just, I don't use foil a lot. So what are your guys' tricks to laying down foil right the first time? Because as you can see, like the struggle bus is completely here right now. I am loving how this is turning out though. I'm kind of shocked that Andrea didn't re-release this kit in the new kit format as it got closer to this movie because it's a fantastic piece. Like I feel like a lot of, well, maybe a lot of, so many people had already bought it. She just figured that people were, were already hoarding it maybe. That's like the only, Oh, and then more, this is like completely off topic from Harry Potter and stickers. Well, that one just went down perfectly on accident. Um, so last Sunday in NASCAR, one of my least favorite drivers won. For years, he's been my least favorite driver, but with this recent drama with another driver, it's undecided where he stands at this point. But it just was announced today that they're taking the win away from him because he got caught cheating which means he's not automatically guaranteed to make it to the finals this day like he was originally supposed to and I am over the moon about this because it's one less driver well actually most of the drivers left in the chase currently not all but most I mean obviously besides my favorite I don't like so yeah if there's a shot that a driver I do kind of like can make it, I am like all for it. So 
it was super exciting. And then like two or three other teams got like huge penalties for last week too. They're a bunch of cheaters. Luckily it wasn't my favorite driver because that's the last thing he needs right now. Because basically the drama that happened, if I, I don't remember if I talked about this, is he nudged very gently another driver out of the way to take the win. And that other driver basically said, well, you've no shot of winning now because I'm gonna wreck you. <sighs> drama, drama, drama. I haven't even been paying attention to football this year because NASCAR's made me so nervous. I mean, a little bit. Like, I know the Rams finally just lost. But this week's going to be pretty boring because, like, my least favorite class of the semester is canceled every day this week. And I am, like, thrilled beyond belief with that. And then... My last class of the day is canceled two out of the three days this week. So it's gonna be a pretty easy week. Okay, where are my full boxes? Plus I have the full box that's on the washi page. I know I'm gonna put the Newt Scamander like case up in the corner. And then these are the boxes we're left with, plus this one. Oh, this one has a bow truckle. Ugh, I wasn't gonna use this one because we already have all these in here, but now I feel like I have to. Because this is a hat and I'm not that in love with it. Okay, well how do I, maybe I will use the hat. I'll just go animal. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Cause I like that layout better. Thursday's the day of the movie. I feel like the Niffler would go really well there. I'm already looking at this week and I'm just so excited. The foil makes me so happy. I wish I could do foil every week, but it's just like another like expense on planning. So, and plus then I feel like the weeks that you do, that I do use foil are like extra special. Like it's kind of sad that I didn't even use foil. Okay, what is my problem here? I didn't even use foil on my own birthday week, and yet I'm using foil this week. Well, it's like, it's a collab. Like one of my favorite series of all time is getting added onto, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, here is what we're left with. So we have four boxes. These, we need a black one over here. And then I'm going to put this one over here. You guys, this is looking so good. Note to self, next time I put the glitter header overlays, excuse my dog, on after the full boxes. Because it's making them really hard to line up. Sorry, I'm being quiet, I'm just focusing. <laughs> Cause like I said, I really want this one to come out well. Okay, I'm, I'm loving it. I sound like a McDonald's commercial, but full box of sheets empty. 
we're gonna go ahead and work on the sidebar. Which, how did I do? How did I do the sidebar that week? Okay, I need to put glitter headers there. This was the other Harry Potter collab week with Alyssa Plans. I am ordering the same body bottom washi from the sticky committee when she reopens the day after I'm filming this because I don't have any more in gold and then I will put that over here. How do I want... I feel like that's not the right size. Okay, now I'm confused as to what size. This is turning into a mess. Okay, I did use the smaller size. I need to stop second guessing myself. You guys, it's so hot in here right now because I purposely shut the door because they were being like extra loud and noisy outside. And I didn't want you guys to have to listen to that the whole time. But now I'm like dying. Like California, it's November. Can we like get with the program? Oh my God, my phone says it's only 60. There's no way it's only 60 degrees outside. No way. That's, that's not possible. Okay, so then we need an exercise header. Okay, we have the exercise header down. We have our box. And then I need it. I just use a this week header because she doesn't have a, a like steps header or anything that works for that. So I just use this week to track my steps, which have been pathetic as of late. So no judging. And there is my sidebar, almost. I know I'm being so boring right now. I'm just, ooh, that was interesting. I'm just really focused on today. Okay, there we go. I am loving this. So let's go ahead and put down some washi. So we fill this in. Do I just go in order? Do I not? I'm gonna go in order. It is giving me all the feels, you guys. All the feels. I am just so excited. I'm doing that thing where I'm trying not to get my hopes too high because I don't want to be like disappointed, you know? Let me know, are you guys, I think I already asked. I don't know, I'm going crazy, you guys. I've been writing so many papers. I wrote like three papers between last night and today in filming this. And I also filmed my entire planner flip through for my 2016 and 2017 life planner, which is a total of eight videos because I'm breaking it up to be that way. So it's eight videos plus this one. After this, I'm filming my TN plan with me for the week. So that will be nine. And then I am filming a short haul. So that'll be a lot. I kind of like these boxes this week. Let's go ahead and use them. Wait, what color is the movie marquee? Because I kind of want to use that especially for this week. We're 
that'll work perfectly. Then also I've been sleeping well because my dad came and was installing this thing for my doorbell and my old doorbell thing like circuited out and was humming all night the one night. And now, well, I've disengaged it. Well, my dad did. And now I don't have a doorbell, which is fine for the most part. Okay, that is like as crooked as crooked can be. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera and I can see it, but okay. That's gonna stay crooked or it's not gonna stick anymore. Then for a Fantastic Beast, I mean, I have to, right? I never use movie markies anymore. That's just so special. Oh my God, okay. Breathe. I have two more days. What colors do I want to use? I'm going to use a blue. And I don't know if I like the tan between there. I feel like we need more color over here. That is cute. I am, oh my God, I can't. Hmm. I'm going to wait on the weekend banner until I get that foil sticker because I kind of want to put it over the foil sticker. But it will go right here. Then, oh crap, I should have put these on first, huh? I think I might only use one up here because I only have three. I feel like the key doesn't really go with anything here. The wand does. Put one here and here. that came out so good. I feel like I have to. I just do. I think these two days. I think I'm gonna. Sorry guys, I got a phone call. So we are going to Peel up the top of this box. And just add a little foil there. And this day we're going to add some foil to it because why not? I don't know if I love that there, but it's there now. <laughs> Cause that's how foil works. Okay. I do have these. I wish there was a fantastic piece. So I could use these for school from rose color days. No, I kind of want to use my Mila. Let's go ahead and put my girls in. Do you mark school? Okay, those are cute. 
And this is the movie day. I feel like I need to put some like foil corners in there or something, but it's so small. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And it's kind of art deco-y like the feel of it. So I feel like this one would work really well. I might wait until I write it in. Cause how cut are these? Oh, they're pretty close to the, the corners. I use a smaller one. Ooh, I like that. Oh, this is gonna be hard to lay down. Yes. Yeah, we'll do it like this. For the day of the movie, because that needs foil, duh. No, I didn't do the date numbers yet. Eighteen. This is hard to do without tweezers, but I don't know where mine are. This is the technical release day of the movie. I just have tickets for the night before. Because tea, no patience. And I don't care if I'm tired from school that day. Like, I want no spoilers. <laughs> Which I usually am, like, the spoiler queen. Like, I want to know, like, everything. But this is just so special and magical. But... Okay, some of those are super crooked. Oh, well. Is that gonna, nope, this day is NASCAR, and because it's the last race of the season and my driver can win again, I want some foil to it. And I'm going to mark it with an icon. Is there a big car icon? There is. I kind of want to put the foil on opposite corners, so let's go ahead and put the car icon here. I usually mark NASCAR up here, but, and then I think I want to use bigger ones the last time to mark it. I don't know which ones, but I think I like these. It's like a sudden death race, you know? It's not like they get more than one shot at it once you make it to Miami. It's all or nothing. Premature wiggle! Um, <laughs> I know, I don't think Viv watches my videos, but if she does, I know she wouldn't be happy about that. Then we are going to add a bow truckle sticker here because I need a bow truckle on this red. And then I get to do one more sticker down here. I feel like everything else in the deco is represented in the kit pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the open, open briefcase. I didn't do the flags at top yet. To go ahead and mark my weigh in for Monday. And I need to go ahead and put in my inspired Ever After school stickers, which I thought I had some sheets I had been using. I don't know. I don't know what I did with them because I know I had some sheets I'd been using. Did I stick them in the back of my planner? No. Well, 
We'll just start taking stickers off new sheets because I don't have time to go look for them. So I track in my habit trackers, my, if I hit my calorie goal or like if I'm over it rather, to let me know how many days I'm doing because I would like to lose some weight. I'm not actively working too hard at it though because I just want to survive this semester of school, to be honest. I think those are so cute with those little girls, wizarding school girls. I just ruined that sticker. That's great. It happens. School, I feel like I need to go get a special sticker to put here, but I don't know. I don't know what to put there. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna go look through my Harry Potter stickers. Okay, sorry about that. I am back. I pulled out so many sheets of Harry Potter stickers. Whew, these are from Eleonora Shop Co., Fox and Pip, Scribble Prince Co., all three of the girls from Scribble Prince Co., both the new and the old sheet for Once More with Love, the Coffer Coffee Monsters Co., Slytherin, Emotes, both her new and old Harry Potter sheets, and the Glam Planner Girls. And after looking at it, I just feel like there's no room for them, so I'm not going to use any of them. But if I were to use one, it'd be this one, because although she's Fleur de la Cour from um, Beau Baton, I think that she looks kind of like Queenie but none of them fit but this is it for this spread let me show you what leftovers i have this is the deco front sheet it's basically full with the exception of like a couple deco sheets and the flags the half boxes sheet the functional sheet the washi page and i'm saving this for once i get that bottom washi the foiled bottom washi to stick it over it headers and washi, the freebie, solid washi and little things, full boxes and ombre boxes. Let me go ahead and give you a wiggle. Guys, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I've never done it before. And that is going to be it for this plan with me. Thank you guys so much for watching this week. This is probably my favorite week I've planned out and it's extra fun because I'm doing it with my planner friend, Alyssa from Alyssa Plans. So once again, now that you're done watching this video, please go check her out. I will have it linked down below. She is awesome. You guys will love her if you guys don't know who she is already, which you all should if you follow me anywhere. <laughs> Um, cause we talk about each other all the time, but she's amazing. So go watch her video and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.